I'm Jordan Ronan here with Nick Powell. We're at the Quest Diagnostics Training Center, ready for Week 12 Giants-Cowboys. Now, we saw an interesting thing from the Dallas Morning News on their website about top quarterbacks in the NFL. They had Eli Manning rated above Tony Romo. You know, a little questionable at this point, especially after last year, 27 interceptions, five interception game the other day. Uh, where do you stand, Nick? Tony Romo or Eli Manning? Well, the timing obviously is not great coming off Eli's worst game of the season, but I'd still go with Manning based off simply the fact that and he he's, had been playing well up to that point. Right, but based off the fact that he's, you know, he's got two Super Bowl rings, that's a pretty unimpeachable statistic right there. And he's got just a better track record of success when it counts. Uh, you know, if you're talking about individual talent, maybe Romo gets the edge. He could probably do a little bit more with less than Eli can. But I think you got to look at Romo's, you know, mishaps in the fourth quarter and when, you know, the postseason is on the line in making this determination. Well, I'm going to go the other way because I'm going to say at this point of his career, those days of the Tony Romo we knew, they're gone. This is a different Tony Romo. 18 touchdowns, 6 interceptions this year, 31-10 and 10 last year. Those big mistakes, those are becoming a thing of the past. He has that running game now to sort of supplement him the way that they needed it, to not put it all on his shoulders so much. So I think this is a different Tony Romo. I think that that choking Tony Romo that we've all become, come to know is sort of a thing of the past. So give me Tony Romo over Eli Manning at this point in their career. Look, Eli's 33. He's getting up there in age. This is gonna, he's getting towards the twilight of his career. So I'm going to go Romo here. This is Jordan Ronan, Nick Powell from Quest Diagnostics Training Center.